Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! We're going to be heading into Fort Majeur coming up soon, but I have Sten and Nina in their uh, shaman fusions here, and for some reason, when you go through the initial cutscene, it removes your fusions. I, I don't know why they do that. It doesn't happen very often, but this is one case where that happens, so... Sorry if I didn't warn you in advance, if you were playing ahead of me. But there is a way to work around this problem. We do need Tepeda in our party just to get to Fort Majeur there. And what I'm going to do is just leave Sten and Nina out of my party. So that way they will retain their fusions while I'm going through the initial cutscenes. And then we can back out, bring them back in the party. So, yeah, it's kind of a dumb thing there, but whatever. Oh, right, I need to go into a frog form with Tapeta to get over there. For some reason, I was just walking into the the lake as though I could walk on water or something. Hey, how's it going? From what I heard, the word Najur is French for uh, swimmer, actually. And that in the original Japanese script, this castle was actually just called Swimmer Castle, so I guess the fan translation kind of went out of its way to make the name of the castle even more French than it already was. That's a nice touch, though. I like it. It, it goes with the theme. But yeah, that's why they call this area Sima Fort in the official English translation as sort of an abbreviation for Swimmer Fort or something. Oh, well, you weren't exactly in captivity. But it's nice that you can change into your frog form at will now. What's going on here? Apparently, all the other frogs around here aren't nearly as big as Tepeda for some reason. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, man? What does that even mean? I mean, I, I can get the meaning of what he's saying, like, yeah, right, okay, pal. But, yeah, I don't know what that expression means. Ha ha. What kind of reputation? Huh. Maybe he was just lying to us or something. Oh, so you're the real one. Huh. Ah, oh, okay. An impostore! Oh, well, yeah, we already knew that. Given the writing of the rest of the plot. Oh, well, no harm, no foul, I guess. Well, we did lose our fusions if I brought Sten or Nina with us. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I was going to say, wait a minute, how are we supposed to get out of here? Swim? We're JRPG characters. Well, I suppose so is Tepeda, but he's a frog. Of course he can swim. So, yeah, sure. I have no idea what that means. I think merci means thank you, but I don't know the other word. Well, thank you. Hmm, let's see. I'm thinking about buying something, but... No, let's actually not do that yet. Let's just get out of here and get our fusions going. What's going on here? Huh? Well, it's a rock. What did you expect? We could push it for you. We did that in the first dungeon of the game. What are you doing with that thing? 
High fiber, huh? Holy cow! Nuts. How are we supposed to get out of here now? So yeah, at this point, if you had someone in your party with a transformation, you would see them uh, without their fusion. So... Yeah, kind of weird how they do that, considering we don't really need anyone to not have their have their fusion like let's say Sten if I needed to use his field ability or something or whatever whoa what are you doing trying to drown us or something what's going on Tata and the frog no no that's another game I would think you would have, like, laws against throwing garbage in the lake. But whatever works for you guys. It's a stiff! No. No, a fake! Ah, hmm, I wonder how long that's been going on. Ah, okay. So, why is anyone believing that then? I mean, they don't even look alike at all. Well, probably execute him. Well, someone's got to guard the front door. Yeah, which one are you talking about? Oh, okay. Well, you're in a JRPG. What did you expect? Well, maybe that's why he gets the warp spell. I'm not going to be using him long enough to learn it. But he's there. We'll have other characters who get the warp spell, so I don't really need to pay that for that. Ah. But no! Oh, well, yeah. He's kind of in charge. Hmm? Oh, well, yeah, you're a cat. I'm surprised you stayed in the water that long. Nuts. Well, maybe you can go fishing, Ryu. And they died. Well, we're not frogs. What did you think? Oh, oh, okay. We're okay. So, can I move? Or wake up? Advance the dialogue? Oh, you actually get a line of dialogue there, Ryu. Well, not really dialogue, but okay. Oh, thanks, I guess. Oh, she said you must have been really out of it, Ryu. What do you mean, flowers? Seriously, I have no idea what that was all about, but okay. Oh. What do you mean by that? Oh, okay. So he, so Tapeta is the real prince. So, I mean, don't you have some amount of authority? I mean, if you're related to him, I would think you 
you know, your royalty. Oh, okay. Kind of like the first game, huh? Well, we didn't have gills. But it works all the same. Hey, hey all right. So I guess they threw him in jail or something. Oh, okay. But they had a boat right out front for us before, but for some reason they put the boat somewhere else, or another boat. Okay. But first things first, let's get a hidden treasure. The second best rod, or fishing rod in the game. Absolutely, you want to hold on to that. Oh, right. Yeah, we already talked to you. I thought you would have said something a little different there. Okay, so now, let's see. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, yeah, let's buy some new stuff here. I want to buy a crossbow for later there, being a non-elemental weapon there. That'll be useful for us. Let's see. Okay, we need an iron plate for Lin there. So yeah, that'll be a little better for you. Do I need the chain mail for anyone else? No. Okay, so we can replace that just fine. Actually, you know what? Let's hold on a second. Let me get my other party members in here to do all the trading and selling and all that. So this is the underwater path that Patepa, I think that's her name. Yeah, that's the path that she was talking about. Now we got the press-on guilds, we can go back and forth all we want without Tepeda in our party. So yeah, I don't want to use Rand because he's slow. Although Nina, I think she's useful, but she's not as useful as perhaps in other dungeons. But I'm not really worried about Rand's levels right now. There will be another dungeon later on that I'll use him to bring him up to speed for his mandatory segments. Let's go with this, and as you can see, Sten has his fusion left, and, well, just take my word for it, Nino does too. So now we got our regular party back in action. Okay, now let's actually buy all the good stuff that we really want out of this. Ah, for some reason I can't use the boat from the left side. Okay. Okay, now we got this underwater path here that... Well, that's where we're going to need to go to advance the plot. But there's still some stuff that I want to get here. And they got some pretty good equipment for everyone. So let's see what we got. Okay, we got the Night Helm that I want to get for both Ryu and Sten there. If you did not buy a Bronze Helm for uh, Rand, or an extra one, you may want to hold on to a bronze helm to give to him, being his best headgear. Let's see. Okay, we got that. We got bucklers that, for some reason, they translated as backlaw in the official translation. Yeah, kind of weird. The nice thing about bucklers, though, is that pretty much everyone can equip them. And that's how I like to handle equipment, like, for shields. And stuff like that. So I can just swap them back and forth between characters much more easily. Even if there's something that's maybe slightly stronger. And I do want to have an extra buckler for later too. I don't need four bucklers though because, well, Ryu's always going to have something better than that. And now let's actually get some better items here too. Okay, let's see. We got no wisdom seeds. I already used them before. So let's get a full stack of those. That'll help us out. And let's see, we got one, so let's get eight of, or up to nine of those. That should be pretty good. I would buy vitamins, but I don't have the HP to really warrant that. But fortunately, they also do sell a fishing bait here, so you don't have to go all the way back to New Haven to do that anymore. Oh, well, yeah, we already knew that. Hmm? Oh, I guess it's an expression like living under a rock or something? I don't know. Um. He doesn't look like him at all. Except maybe the head. But even then. Hmm. Yeah, that is weird. 
by their girth. Uh, you, you could use your eyes. Hmm. What do we got here? Ah, well, I don't think I need that, but we're... Well, thank you anyway. Okay, so we're done here. Actually, hold on a sec. Oh, I can't do this anyway. I was thinking about getting some treasure, but... No, let's not do that. Let's just move on, then. Now, despite having, like, dungeon music here... Yeah, there's no enemies here, so don't worry about it. We need more RPGs that have some means of saying, Hey, you can't run into random battles here or not. Oh. Hmm, what's that? Oh, okay. Remember that for later, viewers. That's important. I'm serious. What do you mean you don't believe me? Epic meal time? Ah, okay. What do you mean, Shell? I thought you guys were frogs, not turtles. Hmm. Well, never mind. Let's move on, then. Oh. Well, you're a chef. You can cook for yourself. Ha ha. Now, remember those stairs behind that guy for later. They lead to some treasure that we can't get right now. Who's that down there? Hmm, I can't quite... I can't quite make her up. Or make her out. Oh, <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. Sure, why not? Oh, okay. Never mind, then. No, no, C can I get out of here? No! Can I? Okay. I, I thought, like, the game was just screwing around with me or something. Well, we found Tapeta, at least. How's it going? Yeah, we just want to break him out of here. Oh. <laughs> Your proposal is acceptable. For boss time! Yeah, you have to fight him in order to progress with the plot. Okay, let's see here. Let's just go... Yeah, let's go with the Electric Dragon. I don't think I've shown that one off yet. Now, this guy can counterattack you, so if you've got spells for someone like Sten, you want to put that to use. You could also use Samoon or Bomb if you didn't give him Slice. Lin cannot do anything else. And actually, let's put our Fire Ring to use. Since, well, it's free, it casts the Spark or Flare spell, depending on your translation. And let's see, one shot of the... Oh, uh, yeah, one of Ryu's dragon should take the guy out. And actually, that reminds me of something. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, there's actually a use for the dragon whelp spells there because they are single targeting. And there's another spell for Lin that I'll never use. But yeah, there is a boss fight later on where I do use them for single targeting purposes in the event that you don't want to kill everyone in the fight there. You know the one I'm talking about, viewers. <laughs> oh. Well, he's not really going anywhere. But okay. Hey, how's it going? I have no idea what Destin is. I'm not going to look up the real pronunciation of every single French word they use here. I mean, yeah, I have some French heritage. I mean, look at my name. But I don't pronounce my name that way. Oh. 
Okay, how's it go? But yeah, we just pronounce my name the English way, even though we spell it in French for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah, nice painting you got going there. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. Goodbye. But can we find a way to break Topeda out of prison? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.